trending recently, um, ransomware. Something that we've all become familiar with um, if you even work for an organization or if you own a small business, um, ransomware has become increasingly a concerning cybersecurity threat to even small businesses. Uh, what is ransomware? You know, I get that a lot. Um, ransomware is a type of malware that encrypts data and holds its hostage until the victim pays money to release it. Again, listen to that. It is a type of malware that encrypts data and holds it hostage until the victim pays money to release it. Now, as a small business owner, just the thought of something like this is happening is just extremely scary. Um, in 2021, the FBI received 20,000 complaints about business email compromise scams that estimated about around $2.4 billion. In the past, cyber criminals tended to target large organizations like the corporations and the government. But in recent years, um, the cybercrime landscape has shifted. Small businesses have become increasingly attractive to targets, financially motivated cyber criminals. So I know you're saying, what can I do as a small business to protect myself? It is critical for small businesses to take the necessary steps to protect themselves from ransomware attacks. Here are seven best practices to prevent ransomware attacks. Back up your files. And regular cyber hygiene practices prevent against ransomware attacks. Something as simple as the 321 backup rule. Keep at least three separate versions of data on two different storage types and make one off-site. Seems simple, right? Set up a firewall. Firewall is one of the first lines of defense against ransomware. Uh, filter some of your emails. Prevent malicious emails from reaching employees. Um, and also phishing attempts. Um, other attacks, this type of malware is known to use. Um, and for me, I think the biggest thing that's on not on the list, but I would add, will be um, training your employees to understand the importance of not clicking on emails that are not from people that they know. Again, regularly train them how to identify and avoid common ransomware pitfalls such as phishing emails, patching your vulnerabilities, updating your operating system because there's always new vulnerabilities coming out. Those are things that can reduce your um, risk. Um, things in the, that you're seeing now, even with your bank, two-factor authentication. You know how you get that code after you log into your site. There are things that we can do as small business owners to en enable some of those uh, features. A lot of our ISPs, our internet service providers, or any of the technology we're using have those type of um, uh, technologies built into your um, ISP. So take some time, look and contact your ISP provider. Um, do you do some research and you can find that there are some things that are resonant to that actual application program or internet service provider. And then also do things like limit administrative privileges, right? Not everyone should have the same privileges. Every employee um, should have the privileges that are needed for, to do their job. And then lastly, if you are a victim of ransomware, please, I know sometimes we like want to deal with things in-house, but file a report with the FBI Internet Crime Complaint Center. Contact your local FBI field to investigate. Um, submit a tip online. And if you want more information about how to protect your small business from cyber attacks, there's a wonderful website, um, https at www.cisa.gov uh, slash small business. And then as always, if you need some additional assistance, I am here for you. You can schedule a one-on-one and I'll be happy to assist you. So I hope that you learned something today and I hope you've been a wonderful audience. See you soon.